Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me. So let's get into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing Scorpio with a clear and concise message. All right, so we have healthcare change showing up for you. Um, we have a year from now and then we have new moon in cancer which is coming up tomorrow you and your loved ones are safe so this is an issue something about you're holding on to something here and it's causing health issues in your body you might want to get a second or a third opinion about what's going on with you and you also want to take some preventative measures in terms of your health um, you also want to take some time to care for yourself. You've been holding on to something. There's a lot of insecurity. There's a, um, I don't know if you're not letting people get close to you. A lot of insecurity, not letting people get close to you. Something about your heart space and maybe it needing to be healed. Um, you may be operating a little too much from your ego um, and not your heart. Um, a year from now, if you're asking about a certain situation, do know that your angels are working on your behalf behind the scenes. A year from now, things will look different. Also, there's like a home move or something about a home. Um, you and your loved ones are safe. Do know that. Even through this transition time or this transition period, some of you have neglected family. And if you are neglecting family, then you need to take some time to go back to family and actually put some time, some energy, some effort into your loved ones here. Do know that a new cycle could be starting for you and your children. And it could be that maybe you're now a single mom or a divorcee. Or, um, it's time to review your goals too. Um, have they changed? You gotta ask yourself that question. Um, also, something you're holding on to. Um, you also need to participate in meditation here that's going to help with the insecurities and banishing fear anxiety um some of you need to take a vacation spend some time near water this new moon in cancer is a very emotional time so it's going to bring up those emotions that maybe you've been holding on to some of you just heard you need a a good cry some of you the the image i was getting off camera when i was shuffling the cards was like someone holding like a dover Doberman Pitcher, and I don't know if I'm saying it, Pitcher, is that right? I don't know, but like one of those big dogs, like guard dog, and they they had it on the chain, the chain was around his neck, and um, it looked well cared for, but it was like like a guard dog, like something is, something is being guarded, I don't know if you're guarding yourself, you're guarding your heart, you're not letting people close, get close to you. Um, we need to put your family first, and you have been transitioning your friends to your family or your circle or you're making your friends more like your family but you can't get away from the fact that you do have family and you might need to put a little more effort time energy into that do know that um you gotta take better care of yourself also i don't know if you're not eating right or you're not exercising or you're not doing something or not drinking enough water there's some health care change that you need to really look into here some of you it could be around um, the stomach area, maybe even pelvic, stomach pelvic area, that area. Um, when you get issues around that area, it's typically some emotions that you're holding on to, something that you're holding on to, you, you want to express, don't know how to express, or you're, you're really trying to hold back. Um, so you might need to look into meditating, um, look into some alternative medicine also. And maybe look into some alternative ways to heal. You might even recognize that you are a healer, okay? Um, you might need to change your health care providers too. Some of you, you're going to be studying healing here. Some of you could be in the health care profession. If you are not, then you're definitely studying ways of how to heal yourself and maybe even a loved one. Do know that they're safe um, and just make time for them, okay? Um, put your family first is what these cards are saying um, don't hold back something about insecurity and banishing insecurities this new 
new moon in cancer is coming up tomorrow, July 9th. If you want to get in on my new moon manifestation session, you can do that. Uh, the link is below in the description box where you can manifest new love, new energy, um, new streams of income. Banish uh, people, places, things, situations, events, insecurities, fear, anxiety. If you feel like that's something you want to do and you just need help opening that door, then take advantage of the session. The session is not a whole lot of money. Um, the link is below. Also, if you want to get your own personal reading like this one, you can go over to the website and do so. And um, you can also donate to the channel. If you feel like you took something from the reading, you can give back by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. You can also ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. Okay? Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.